Hello everyone, welcome once again. So as you uh, remember from the previous video, we have learned how to send a signal to a certain device using the deep space control system. So in this video, in the tutorial number two, what we are going to learn is how to receive a signal from some certain device through the deep space system. So let me just uh, tell you a bit about what we have uh, done <coughs> so far which we've already explained it before that uh, for the receiving uh, signal we are uh, using the ADC board because we are receiving the analog signal and converting into uh, a DSC in order to uh, uh, see it on our uh, system over here and receive it because our system only understands the digital signal not the analog one so we are using the uh, ADC board here other than using the DSC board as uh, last time so let's uh, get into the process at first as you remember from the previous tutorial we have designed the algorithm using the MATLAB Simulink so we are straight away getting into the MATLAB and once again it will ask you about the interface and this is once again RTI1006 you are clicking on it and our DSpace system is already turned on it is configuring it has already been configured installed let's launch the Simulink let's start a new model and now that we are receiving signal we don't really have to assign any signal to send or we don't really have to use any constant block or something like that all we need is to determine from which device we are going to receive the signal and as last time you remember for the DSE board we have we had chosen DS2103 but this time we are not using the DSC board this time we are using the ADC board let's take a look what number the ADC board is let me take, take a look here so the number is either DS2002 or DS2003 so we can use either of them let me take a look here again let's come here let's take a look at the library rti1006 and we are looking for 2002 or 2003 so here we go the 2003 is here we are importing the 2003 on the model right so we have got it here and let's assign the channel number as you remember last time we had assigned a channel number for the DAC board or the ADC board we are doing the same let's choose say for 25 this time and say ok so we have already assigned the number now what we need have to do is we will have to add something we will have to import some blocks here which can show us the signal we are sending from some external device and for that what the very typical simulink block used to see the outcome from some block is the scope this is the one where we can basically take a look how much the signal we are actually receiving and things like that so this is scope that we are receiving here like uh, importing here so scope is here now another thing last time for uh, the DSC board um, pretty sure you remembered that for the DSC board the DSC board it multiplies every signal with 10 
that is the reason we had used a gain of 0 0.1 in order to divide the signal with 10. For the ADC board, it is exactly the opposite way. It is the other way around. Other than multiplying it by 10, the ADC board always, whenever it receives some signal, it will pass the signal to the dispatch system by dividing it by 10. So, in order to see it on the scope, we will basically have to multiply it by 10. So, we are adding the gain again and this time the gain is going to be 10 instead of 0 0.1 because we are multiplying it by 10. Say OK and let's connect it here. This is connected and this is connected as well. Now we are saving the model. This time we are receiving. So <coughs> receive test. Let's save it. Yep, it is saved. And as the last time, we are going to build the model by pressing Ctrl and B together. And it is being built. The necessary files will be generated very soon. Process is going on. The C files are generating and we can see the SDF file is getting generated. We are just waiting it for it to be done and it is successful. Okay, that's great. So we have successfully generated the SDF file for the signal receiving model. Now as the last tutorial you remember we are getting into the graphical user interface of the DSpace control system. We are double clicking on DSpace control desk. It is coming up. So it already came up. As you remember, I last time said you make sure none of the cores are working. So I'm just stopping this core here. Now start a new project and experiment. Name it as receive underscore test. Say next. Keep it as it is. Say next. Keep it as it is. Say next and import the SDF file. It will take you directly to the directory here. And the name of our file was starting with R. So this is the one. So the SDF file is here. We are opening it. It has been imported. Click finish. There we go. So from the last video, if you can remember, we have basically added one instrument from here in order to send the signal but this time we are receiving the signal so we will have to add something here which will show us the received signal from the external device so so far in order to do that what we can do is we can use a display maybe this is a numeric display so we can use this display and now we will have to say, we will have to tell this equipment that which one of this model, which one, which block of this model is going to be followed by this. So as from this model we can see, the only thing we need because we are not uh, doing anything with this and we cannot do anything with this either the only block that we can focus on is the scope because we are 
only going to see the signal which is going to be somehow transmitted from some external device so all we need to do is to connect the scope with this equipment here and we have to do that as the last time go to the variables go to the model root and then the scope has to be dragged and dropped on top of the equipment and you can see it here and for the last time let's see if any of the cores are assigned so all the cores are stopped that's great so we are ready to start the calibration so what we are doing is saying start online calibration so it is already sending some signal which is uh, not really anything like that to worry about because this is because of some uh, instrumentation error error so for the external device the device we are sending the signal from we are using a signal generator and this signal generator what it will do is it will send some analog signal to the analog to digital conversion board and this analog signal is going to be received by that board and uh, we can see that signal over here into the scope into the uh, equipment that we have imported here so once again we are using a bayonet name connector here and if you can remember in the model we assigned the channel number 25 so we are adding this bayonet nail connector to this ad board on top of this 25 channel so this 25th channel is now connected with the signal generator here we are still not getting any signal here the slight bit of change on this signal is so so little this is insignificant so this is basically zero you can consider it as zero what we're going to do is we're going to turn this signal generator on so on the signal generator we can basically generate two types of signal one is the discrete signal and another is the analog signal here as because we need analog signal to be transmitted into the this space system we are turning the analog signal on only so this is turned on now so all we need to do is turn this one on again as well and change the voltage now this signal generator is sending zero volt and as you can see we are basically receiving zero we are receiving some bit of negative signal which is basically insignificant because it's happening because of some internal uh, instrumentation problem and things like that nothing to be worried about this one so we are basically sending zero volt here and that means n n none of the signals are getting sent now we are increasing the voltage here and take a look here as well we are increasing the voltage to one and almost one is being sent 0 0.99 which is one you can say we are increasing it to five five point two so it appeared as five point one eight which is almost five point two five point one nine and so on so forth so as you are increasing it till 10 it is coming up as 10 almost so whatever signal you're sending from the signal generator here it is getting received by the dspace system 